Hello everybody, it's March 12, 2021, 75 degrees Fahrenheit, 24 Celsius, and I'm in Disney Springs, Orlando, Florida, with two very special guests. And who are these people? That crazy Disney lady and Robin. Welcome to Disney Springs. We are so happy to host Action Kid today and show him a, a little Southern hospitality here in Florida and show you all around Disney Springs. Yep. <laughs> and I'm really happy to hang out with these two. Let's go. So excited. Go. Yeah. <laughs> and I never knew there was a Disney Springs here. It's like a shopping area. It's completely free shopping, to come in. Dining entertainment Becca. Yep. So much fun. <laughs> All right. I think we'll start and we'll head over this way. Okay. You can see, you can actually go up in that hot air balloon up there. Whoa. Yeah. Except it's behind the tree now. I can't get a good view of it, but. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so all of this area is uh, shopping. Um, trendy is um, like for I would say like the younger crowd. Yeah, probably. Uh, like yeah. more trendy looking yeah. Disney merchandise in there. Okay. Very unique. Oh, and before I forget, check out Crazy Disney, that Crazy Disney Lady's YouTube channel because she basically live streams every single day yeah. on everything Disney, so you yeah. can't miss her. A little daily dose of Disney. Yep. Lots and lots of fun. Mm -hmm. So much fun. Housewares and things like that. You can always get you a nice margarita over here. Ooh. The world famous Dole Whip right here. Dole Whip? Yes, it's one of the most famous. Is it Disney a pineapple? Snacks. Pineapple Whip? Yes. Pineapple. Oh, the pineapple yeah. company. Pineapple yeah. Dole Whip. <laughs> so we have Ghirardelli Soda Fountain. Ghirardelli. Amazing ice cream. That's the chocolate thing that I always is the see. Chocolate, yes. Yeah. Ghirardelli chocolate. You can get sundaes, banana splits, wow. cakes, anything you can imagine. It's amazing. So how long have you two say you've been coming to Disney? I've been coming since 2004, but Robin's been coming longer than me. Wow. Um, 1985 was my first time Oh my here. gosh, she's yeah. a veteran. Uh, yeah. <laughs> None of this was Disney Springs at the time. This didn't exist at the time. Yeah. Okay, this is the largest Disney store in the world. world wow. Disney, and it takes up this entire area. Would you like to walk inside? Yeah, let's go let's in. Go in. All right. You know, probably the last time I've been in Disney World was like over 20 years ago. Okay. Yeah. A long time. I know. <laughs> this was, at that time, this was called Downtown Disney. It was a oh. little different. Yeah, Downtown Disney, and then on the other side, you had what was called Pleasure Island, where they had all kinds of like nightclubs and entertainment. Ooh. They've kind of changed it up a little bit several years back. And oh, there's the hot air balloon. You can see it easier now. Yeah. Live entertainment goes on here every night. Wow. So here's the largest Disney store in the world. Whoa, look at this. It's so <laughs> colorful. It looks like a warehouse. Well, it's, it's like, totally different because they just refurbished this two years ago. Yep. It used to be totally different. Oh, goodness. Wow. Well. But yes, they modernized it, <laughs> opened it up. There's still Disney memorabilia everywhere. Look at this. Like everything. It's kind of like a department store now. Yeah. This is like the house store section over here. The women's clothing section is here. We can walk around the kids section and toys in the back. Gosh, as a kid, you could spend a whole day here. Oh, yeah, I absolutely. know. Even as a big kid, as a big kid, we're all big kids, even as an action kid. You get it, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, Robin, they have masks to match your new sweater. I know, I need that mask, and you need Ooh. that blanket. I do, it. look beautiful. at that, huh? I have the shirt, but I need the mask for sure. Oh, Monopoly Disney yeah. Edition. Yep. Perfection, Candyland, kind of great puzzles. This is all starting the toy section. And children's clothes. Yeah. Tons and tons of puzzles. 
Look at this, they got Frozen here. Yep. All the leaves from Frozen 2. I saw that movie, I liked it. Oh yeah. Yep. It's the last Disney movie I saw. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is one of our points. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Unbelievable. I don't really see too many discounts here though. It's all full price. <laughs> Not too many sales. Yep. No buy one get one free or fifty percent off. <laughs> Uh huh. And all of their merchandise that goes like on clearance goes to the character warehouse. Oh. So people go there to do all their shopping. Okay. It's kind of like their clearance. Yeah. Mickey ears, you can imagine. Yeah, do you need some? <laughs> I think I will they have later. Hats. I might as well pick some ears up for later. That's right. Good, how are you today? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, we get a cap with Minnie Mouse. That'll definitely not fit me. Ooh. Oh, look. Forever your Mickey, forever your Minnie. Oh, hey, there's somewhat of a discount here. There you go, see? <laughs> 22 each when you buy two. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, it's 24.99 yeah, each. So you're saving like six bucks. Every kind of t-shirt you could imagine over there. Look at that. I know, feels like we just walked through only a quarter of it. Of it. Do these uh, window panels change colors? I've never noticed that they do. No? Hmm. Whenever you're at the checkout though, Tinkerbell will fly around to all those, you see those jars of colors back oh, there? Oh wow. Tinkerbell will fly all around and they'll light up and stuff. Cute little... Uh, That's cool. Very cool. Okay. We have two Starbucks down here. Two Starbucks. Yeah, one on this end, and then there's one on the other end of town. Every park has a Starbucks. Mm-hmm. I'm sure. <laughs> Sometimes can be some of the longest lines they have. <laughs> <laughs> Reusable water bottle if you need one. Cold yeah. cups. And this is still the world of Disney store. Yes, Look at is. that. We just were over in that section and it had the those two shirts, the Forever Your Mini, Forever Your Mickey. Yep. Those were in that section. Sometimes they change these out and you can come down here and watch them Ooh. take all these Legos down and rebuild another one, which is really cool wow. to watch. Master builders. That's cool. Look at that sea dragon. <laughs> they put it in the water, all the Legos. Now that one over stays here. Oh, it stays. Yeah, that one stays. Yeah, I was like, how do they put those Legos in the water? I guess they have to drain the lake and then build it up. That was, that's the one that has stayed all the time. They put in the Star Wars display over here. Wow. We're coming at a good time too, by the way, because next week is like the busiest week for Disney that all the tickets are sold out. 
Yeah. Olaf is so cute. Yep. Olaf. And we got, yep. Mickey from Fantasia. I saw that too, the original one. Okay. There's so much to do and see. I see, look at that. Wow. Big old paddle boat. Mm hmm. The line for the restrooms. Is it? Oh, it is. Wow. There, before, you know, the pandemic, there was an area outside and inside where kids could go and play and build with Legos. And hmm. right now, obviously, they can't do that. Uh, it's kind of a bummer. We got Uniqlo. Doing that. Yeah, no, you can get a lot of uh, discounted T-shirts in their Disney Uh huh. I think I've ever been in that store. Really? Yep. Really? Whoa. Definitely gotta check it out. Because I love yep. my Disney t-shirts. You see, you two have been together for a while and she's even learning from you. <laughs> yeah. There's always something to learn here. Exactly. Always. always. Doesn't matter how many times you've been, you're always gonna find see, something. See like that t-shirt's ten dollars. Look at that. Yeah. Like you're not instead gonna find of, that in the world of Disney. Instead of twenty-four dollars each, right? Yeah. That one we saw. <laughs> you like barbecue for like pig is delicious. Wow. Yes. Smell it? Is it even polite to call it the polite pig? <laughs> I don't even know. You don't know? Very interesting. Yeah. This is like a whole city onto itself. Yep. You're coming into like the, the mall section. Yeah. yeah. Disney Springs. What about third party? This is one of the parking garages. Wow. Lime garage. You know, on my way in here driving, I saw there was an orange garage. Yes, too. that's on the other end. Ah, uh, they named them all after different fruits. Lime, orange, and grapefruit. And grapefruit. Okay. Yeah. Ron John Surf Shop. I guess you can go surfing here in Orlando without an ocean, right? You just go straight to Coco. It's yeah. only like 45 minutes away. Okay. Not that's where everybody right goes. Now. That's not bad. And Coco Beach has the largest Ron John shop in the world. Ooh. I don't know if it's the original, but it's huge. Yeah. Man, look at this area. It's so landscaped well. The trees are like swaying. It's beautiful. All these fountains too are awesome. A lot of places in the country don't look like this in March. Nope. <laughs> Not at all. Beautiful place to live and visit. So nice today. I wish I would have wore a flowy dress. I know. Look at her. I know. She messaged me. In and like, jeans. It's so hot. I was like, I didn't know it was going to be this warm. Robin, too. She's like, oh no. <laughs> I at least wore capris. <laughs> I'm like, it's a little warm. At no. least I came here in a short sleeve and yeah, shorts. Yeah, you so. did. <laughs> I also have a sweater in my backpack. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Just in case. I thought about wearing a light jacket too, but good thing I didn't bring that. Yep. Hey, a couple of days ago we were freezing, so. Yeah. <laughs> well, look at this. This is like the, you know, complete shopping area that's Isn't that not, amazing? not Disney branded. Right. You've got all yeah. the third party. You've got your Sephora, your Coach. Yeah. Mac, Costa. Zara. So like the main like Disney branded stuff is right near the entrance, it seems like. Or yeah, that right, entrance. This is in the middle. Yeah. yeah. You have Disney on that this end. This is where you would go to get on the bus to take you to the resort. Okay. Yeah, because they're kind of far from each other, right? Do those buses charge for transporting? No, or? that's no. all complimentary. Oh, good. Yeah, because I remember hearing like they were starting to charge for people, right? So for transportation. Right now, the Magical Express brings you from the airport to your resort. Oh. For free. But, for free. But starting next year in 2022, they will no longer offer the Magical Express. Um, there's something coming. I don't know what it's going to be. They haven't made that announcement yet, but it's not going to be free anymore. Oh. But the, but the transportation around property will remain free 
okay. to all guests. This is really cool. 19 Market Building 13. This kind of reminds me of that World of Disney store just a little bit, except yes. it's a lot higher ceilings yep. and it's straight. Trying to keep to all that same theming. Yeah. Would you, I like, Whoa. you know, because we need Ugg here. Of course you need Uggs, right? <laughs> Out of the year. <laughs> Maybe. You never know. They have this brand new uh, Disney print with the Vera Bradley. I have to go see that in person. Sure, we're here. All right, let's go. Hey. Look at this. Oh, you have three in the store now. Okay. There's a lot so of designs right? here. That's like the weekender, huh? Yeah. I, well, no. Well, yeah. I guess it would be the one I have the, of an older pattern is much longer than that. Oh, okay. Big, big, really big. It's really cute. You're gonna have to get you it's one. It's adorable. Look at all those backpacks. They're like. Lots of different Disney prints. I believe yeah. This Vera Bradley stuff is very popular. I can imagine. Yeah, Disney doing? Yeah. 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 to a whole other level, right? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you checking the prices? Yeah. Thank you, too. No prices on that I store. Look at the price. Right? Yeah. With a lot of those luxury stores. They don't even put a price on it. You just like it and then they ring it up. That's, That's the price. That's how it works here. Yep. <laughs> Things you would never pay that price for outside of Disney. You're like, oh yeah, just give it. I'll take two. <laughs> chicken guy. There was that the polite guy. pig and the chicken guy. That is Guy Fieri. Oh. That's his restaurant, right, Tanya? Yes, that's his restaurant. I, I was a um, media for the opening of this, and I got to meet him. And he actually served me some chicken and uh, some of the desserts that are on the menu. How many different sauces? I forget. There are so many There's different. There's like 50 or oh something like goodness. that. Oh, my goodness. A million different sauces. Look at this thing. It looks like a planetarium. That's Planet Hollywood. Oh, it is? Yeah. So it's inside Planet Hollywood, or no, is it behind it? Planet Hollywood oh. is down here. It's like behind Chicken Guy. Okay. Here. This is uh, the Coke store over here, which uh, is pretty interesting because if you go up to the top floor, you can buy like a... Um, I think they call it the world tour, where you can taste Coke products from all over the world. Oh, oh, here's the Planet Hollywood. Yeah. Hey, I was kind of correct. It says observatory. Yep. So. <laughs> you were right. You also have a pretty amazing view from up top of the Coca-Cola yeah, store. So Ooh. It's amazing. You can see all of Disney Springs and around the Disney property. My goodness. And that's wow. the orange garage. So, question for you, how many Disney properties, like, resorts are there around here? So, on Disney property, there's about 30 resorts. We have four theme parks, two water parks, Disney Springs, and about 30 resorts that make up Walt Disney World. Oh my goodness. Yes. I didn't know it was that large. Yes. Our movie theaters are open. People are, have already been going back and seeing movies. <laughs> Oh, this is like the eating section now. Wetzels, pretzels, haagen -Dazs. Or a mini one, anyway. Yeah, I'm going to take you down to the end of Disney Springs. And when we come back up, we can go to the back and go down by the boathouse and stuff. Oh, OK. Yeah. Yeah, there's so much to see here. It's beautiful at night. Oh, you know, lit up, there's entertainment, holidays are amazing. 
Christmas tree trail. Oh, there's the hot air balloon. Yep. How much do they and charge it's for it? It's today. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little windy. <laughs> the other night I came down, um, I think it was Sunday last week, mm -hmm. and it was closed because the wind was so bad that it was starting to Wow. Wind. They couldn't, they couldn't do it. Is this the only like ride in Disney Springs? I mean, yeah, really. They do have like more, like more kitty stuff over on the other side. They have a merry-go-round and a train. Okay. Ones, but there really aren't any rides down here at Disney Springs. We'll save that for the park, which we'll go there next. Mm -hmm. More shopping. Um, we have a Star Wars store and a Marvel store down here. So okay. for any Star Wars fans, there's actually a Star Wars store on both sides of town. Um, Look at that, huh? I never knew I'd see a Star Wars specific themed store. Yep. yep. Oh man. Everything Star Wars. And then everything and Marvel. Is Marvel. The Candy Cauldron, back before COVID-19, they used to always... Um, we could stand in the window and watch them create all the Disney treats, but we can't do that right now. Oh. Hopefully that'll come back. It's Let's go up to the to window watch. and take a look at some of these treats. Look at this. These are chocolate chips in the shape of a Mickey Mouse. And different colored popcorn, and look at this one. <laughs> Uh-huh. Mac and cheese. Yes. Ma mac and cheese. They have a hot dog one, the hot diggity dog. Yep. And you can get like all these very unique hot dogs. Like really unique hot dogs that I don't think I would ever try. No. Oh no. Some of that peanut butter and marshmallow <laughs> and yeah. all kinds of things. You can wow. imagine on a hot dog. And here's the movie theater. Wow, they're even Doing more uh, work over here. Yep. The new restaurant, um, Market Coffee Bar coming. Oh, yeah. is our Holland Alley, which also has really good food. We go there Amazing. a lot. Mm. We go there a lot. <laughs> <laughs> really, really good pizza at Smokeville. I love the burger at Smokeville. You love the sushi? I do. They're I known the to have the best sushi all. In Splitsville, the bowling alley. Right? Wow. But that's, they're very well known for their fishing. Luxury lanes. That's our newest place that opened Everglaze Donuts. That's a, they have these unique donuts. There's a, a bacon donut, a fruity pebble donut. Wow. Um, just so many like creative donuts and they're delicious. Peanut butter blast. Amazing. What is uh, that up ahead? Stores new. So that's where they used to do Cirque du Soleil shows. Oh. Now. Okay. It'll be back one day. Yep, it'll be back with an all new show. There's Splitsville. So, awesome. it's two stories. Oh, it's two stories. It looked like three. On both levels and dining tables all around. Okay. Another new thing that they opened here, other than the M&M store, is the NBA Experience, which still has not reopened since uh, it shut down when uh, we shut down for COVID. Hmm. So it's been closed for a year now. Wow. House of Blues, they always have concerts. Well, they did have concerts. We haven't had a concert um, since they reopened. But um, they do live entertainment out on the back porch every night. And the food is delicious. I've heard they have some of the best wings around. That's what I've heard. Yeah. Ooh. Uh -oh. We got some on this. This is still is another new place. Lots of beer, beer on tap, like all over the world here. This is still House of Blues? Yep. Wow. Yep. Here's City Works, the eatery and poorhouse. All kinds of different beers on tap. Indoor, outdoor seating. Kind of 
like our little hidden secret. Most people don't yeah. come back here. But whenever you can't find a dining reservation, you can always usually get in at City Walk. Well, I think oh. it's picking up because it's pretty packed yeah. right now in the I middle know. of a yeah. day. <laughs> We've been talking about it too I much. We gotta stop talking about City Walk. <laughs> More people are coming. <laughs> we gotta stop letting out our secrets. Well, we're gonna get something to eat after this video is done, so. Okay. We want to take you to our favorite spot. Of course. And I, it's a toss up between Boathouse and Homecoming, but we definitely love Homecoming. Homecoming, better, yep. So. In it's blues, we trust. Blues. All of it. This kind of looks like the back of Disney Springs yep. now, right? It is. The uh, Soleil building. Okay. Such an amazing show. Yeah. And back beyond that is surface parking. Now, all of the Disney Springs resorts, well, not all of them, but a couple of them are still closed. They never reopen. The only thing that's open is Saratoga Springs and uh, Old Key West resorts okay. that are on the water here. They used to provide boat transportation to get to your resort, but unfortunately they're not doing that right now. Um, just COVID-19 has, you know, of course, caused a lot of things to close. <laughs> Steamboat. Sasagula. There so are now other it's just a. It also goes to um, the Port Orleans Riverside and Port Orleans French Quarter, but they are not open right now. So as Tanya said. Oh, this is intricate. Isn't that amazing? House of Blues. Yep. Oh, I should actually take a picture of that. <laughs> See, when I do these videos, I notice little things that like other people don't notice, like yeah. these little yeah, things like yeah, these. Yeah, we tend to miss things. <laughs> yeah. Because we're always staring at the screen. <laughs> but this is just a, a stroll uh, along the water here. And then you can see like this is the backside of everything. Those are some of the Disney resorts on the water over here. You can take those little Anta cars out. You see the cars driving on the water? All right. Those come from the boathouse, which is um, a place that I'm going to take you today as well. But we're just going to walk the back side here. We're just behind the other buildings we just were in front of. You can see people are up wow. in, in the balloon right now. Look at that. Woo! Huh? This goes up pretty high. I so see, I yeah. Driving over here, it was out. <laughs> and it was shaky. Yeah. So. I love how they have all the first story flags all around Disney Springs yeah. representing uh, Women's History Month. Yep, yeah. awesome. By the way, I think you sell merchandise, so uh, you have. Yeah, I'm yeah, a crazy yeah. Disney lady too. This was a sample shirt. Oh, it was a sample. Okay. Back to the drawing board, but but Robin got to have that shirt. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. But yes, she will have merchandise coming. That's you, what I thought. Do you have merch? I do, yep. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I guess these people like the House of Blues too, or... Yeah. Oh, this is not House of Blues, it's so the next that's, one. Um, how do they say that? Paleo. 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 Yeah. Paleo. Which, they're still kind of like... Mm. Open, but not open. Yeah, they're doing so like they a have special... A... Wednesday. Yes. I know they're doing Wednesday wines, wine something, hmm. uh, but they're trying to get, you know, get back open again. All right. Some places have struggled a bit. We've had a couple of places that actually went out of business altogether because of COVID-19. Ooh. But, uh, and then also some construction that's been on hold. Yeah, like but this one. But for the most part, uh, Disney is definitely booming around here. This is the shortcut. <laughs> we skip all the crowded areas and go yes. right there. The, the less, less traveled path. path. The more scenic. I enjoy walking back here. I do too. Just yeah. to be uh, beside the we water. We don't do it often enough. <laughs> Behind the food truck section now. Yep. Yep. Always a nice place to just 
Just pull up a chair. People watch. <laughs> yeah. I wonder how long this ride lasts. Five minutes, maybe? I've done it a, a few times. Um, I don't know. I feel like it was more than five minutes, though. Well, you have a slow ascent and then a slow descent, and yeah. then you're up there for a few. So, yeah. All right. I'm afraid of heights, so not something I'll <laughs> be doing anytime <laughs> in the near future. I can take heights. <laughs> I don't like steep descents though, like roller coasters. No, me either. Okay, so we've walked this area down. Now we're going to go up here. Oh, here's the other Starbucks. There's yep. the other Starbucks. style that's another Disney version of a smaller version of a Disney store okay mostly you know apparel and some merchandise also very trendy yep very okay trendy. that's where the style comes in yep to a younger audience okay I think I'm going to like this section a lot more just from the crossing this bridge yeah. and seeing this. Lots of restaurants down this here. Like a lot of food. A lot of food. I try to save time and take pictures as I'm walking around. <laughs> I've kind of like gotten better at it. That is hard. It's, hard, it's really hard. Instagram and live at the same time and I'm like I need another hand. Over and then go here Italian. Nice Italian. Ooh. This is an STK Steakhouse. Nice. Pricey but delicious, so we've heard. Yeah. Oh, it looks like there's old train tracks here. Oh, the Edison. Edison. Would have entertainment going on. Edison okay, Power and Light. Place. Yeah, it was definitely the party place before the shutdown. 1901? Is this for real? It's been here since 1901? Oh, yeah. Well, they just themed it that way. I don't know. What is the address? Uh, Paradiso. Yeah, they're from New York. That green building up ahead looks like a lighthouse. Chocolate shop. Oh my gosh, the cookies oh, are like this big. They're so huge. They're almost a pound of cookies. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. Amazing, but a little too chocolatey for my liking. Reminds me of insomnia cookies yeah. in yeah, New York very City. Cool team inside. I've seen them around in, uh, I think, Miami. Insomnia cookies. Well, you know what? Once we cut through, we'll put back down so you can kind of see everything. Okay. I want to take you through the boathouse though and oh. walk on the water. I think that's always great. I like to sit out there. They have an outdoor bar out there. Oh, look at that. One of the places like I enjoy going. There's another amphitheater here. And then right here they do live entertainment every night. Vivoli Il Gelato. This is a fancy gelato store. Yeah. Lots of chairs. Ooh. Goes out into the water. Look at that, huh? Isn't that cool? 
super, super so cool. So if you dine here at the uh, boathouse, you get a $20 discount off of your ride. Oh. <laughs> Dine in a boat in here. Look at that. Oyster bar right here on your left. Yeah, there's the oyster bar here. A boat. Yeah, they have a boat dining table. Now I've seen everything. They have live entertainment here on Saturday night and Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. Yep. Definitely like my second favorite place to, to be at Disney Springs. This is so nice. So would you say like your favorite hotel stay in Disney, this area is like near Disney Springs just for all this entertainment and food and stuff? Well, yeah, I mean, if you, for the, in that aspect, it would be great to stay close to Disney Springs. But, hmm. but no matter where you stay on property, um, you can just hop on the Disney bus and it'll bring you here. Okay. Bring you back to your so it's convenient. Oh, you. it's good. Yeah. Now where you're staying, that's like the perfect place. You just walk right Yeah, for Disney Springs. Yeah. For but sure. It's not considered on property, but it is considered a Disney good neighbor resort. How long would like a bus round trip take? Oh, you could spend, you mean, it could be an hour. An hour, yeah, wow. Yeah, depending on how busy the wait is for the buses. But if you wanted to like take a bus and go all around property, mm -hmm. that would take a lot of time because you'd have to go to a location, either a park or to Disney Springs, to get from bus to bus to bus. Oh, wow. Most resorts will have a dedicated bus just for that resort. Some okay. will be combined. Look at all these boats they have. Great place to come and relax. Oh yeah. Hello. You probably get recognized so much around here. No one's recognized me yet, so. All right, which way are we going? Um, we'll just head back out. Okay, and then we'll go back the other way. So what section is this now we're walking into? I don't know the I don't know the names of like the the section. Mm -hmm. Well this I is probably where, I know where we walked in was the marketplace. Yep. Okay. And down by Circus Soleil is like the uh, what is that area called, Robin? Oh gosh. Um I don't know what they called everything. But now this right here is uh, uh, Aaron McKenna's Bakery from Ooh. New York City. Nice. I don't know if you've ever been in there. I'm but not they, familiar with this place. Everything that they have is gluten-free. It's vegan. Um, they have like really, really good gluten-free and vegan. Right there at that bakery. It's the bakery. Okay. Yes. Yeah. My wife's, my wife's vegan too, so. Oh, okay. Oh, good. Anything but gluten-free and vegan. I'm like, oh, I can ask them. Perfect. They have, uh, even Really? Yes, okay. which is hard to find. Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Alright, so we helped out someone. We did a good deed for the day. Absolutely. Yep. 
I, I call that section like the warehouse section because it okay. looked like one. There you go. <laughs> uh, Paddlefish is actually known for uh, private events. People rent out the top of this area. Wow. Even, they've done weddings and everything here. Is this an actual boat a, or is it just... It's an actual boat and it's a restaurant. And then like I said, people rent out the facility for events. There's a proms there, weddings. Okay. There's the name paddle ship. Look at that, huh? It's run by running water. T Rex, whoa. Is that cool? Oh, let me walk you inside here. This is pretty incredible. Try one of our Dynamite options. Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> wow. Look at that, huh? Oh my goodness. Real oh. life moving dinosaurs yes. and they do move planets. Too. So being from New York City, do you remember when Toys R Us was in Times Square? Oh yeah. Remember, I that, remember that dinosaur? Did they move it here? No. Oh. Whoa. Exactly, look at that. Woo. They've even got an aquarium. Where? Oh. The mammoth doesn't move though. The Kitchen of Fire, look at that. Is it your first time in My here? My first time in there, yeah. Wow. Like I said, you could come here hundreds of times and still not see everything. It's amazing. I can tell, yep. So how was your experience for the first time? What did you think of it? That was, it was so cool. I love how they all like come to life and start moving and you hear the noises. I know. That, cool. that last part when we were coming out, it was like, wow. Amazing. It felt like a real, like, you know, dinosaur like, I don't know, yeah, adventure. It does. <laughs> now we're happy to be here someday. Yeah, how's the food? I like want to know. You would like it. So it's the same owners as the Rainforest Cafe. Okay. They own that and uh, they also own Yak and Yeti, which is over at uh, 
Disney's Animal Kingdom Resort. Mm -hmm. It's a theme park. Yeah, you might have to do it one day in a live stream. Come there for dinner. Oh, for to the T Rex? Yeah. Oh, oh, you have done it before. I'll do it again. And bring Robin. I'll bring Robin. <laughs> Okay, at least we don't go together. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of like the same thing in the Rainforest Cafe. All right. Um, in the Rainforest Cafe, there is a, an actual thunderstorm every once in a while, and it's all themed to different animals within the rainforest. There's one of the cars. Oh, I got to run up to see this. <laughs> Look at that. You gotta be quick to get those shots sometimes. Yeah, you do. I'm so proud of you for taking um, and taking off for taking off from New York City and going to Florida on all these adventures. I know. It's so cool. And I knew it would be a disrespect to myself to not come up here to meet I'm that so crazy glad Disney you did. lady. Yeah, I'm I was so like, I'm so here. close to Ray. Let me just do it. So many people have been <laughs> saying, "Are you gonna see Action Kid?" And I'm like, I reached out and I invited him. But I don't know if he's coming or not. I was like, you know what? Last minute decision. Let's do it. So how often does this volcano erupt? Um, it does it at night. Probably uh -huh. like every 30 minutes or so. Maybe every 15. I don't know. I've never timed it. Hmm. But, it seems but pretty frequent, pretty yeah. yeah. I can ask them up here. hands often and thoroughly. Cover your mouth and nose when it doesn't you're happen during the day. Goofy's Candy Company has like a lot of Disney snacks and treats in there. I'll take you in there so you can see some of them. Oh, look at that alligator. <laughs> I remember when my kids were little, they were scared to death. Of him. Yep. I remember being scared of some stuff around here when I was a kid. Yeah. The other one is like prehistoric times. All right. Look at that, huh? Have you been in here? I have. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I like the ropes of the tails. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> That's a good way to get someone to say, it's time to go, let's pull the tail. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Look how cool. Whoa. You know the smell here? It actually smells somewhat like a rainforest. Yeah. Actually, come to life, like you saw like the over dinosaur in the, one. Yeah. And there's a thunderstorm. Baby gorilla up there. Wait, does actual water come down in the thunderstorm? No, no. Yeah, yeah, that would be a little much, I think. Too realistic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But there is water coming down, like over here. Look at that. Yeah. Ooh, I like this log or rock, the cavern. Look at that. Oh, look at this aquarium. You can go off and. Oh. You're not on my level, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get that mistake. <laughs> that 13 year old is taller than me. Tracy tree. 
Every once in a while, like she'll wake up and start talking. Hey Siri. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, don't work. Hey Siri. <laughs> hey Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, my name's not Siri. I'm gonna look at you now. <laughs> All right. Now the Goofy's Candy Company. Hey. All right. Whoa. Show everybody all these amazing over here. It smells so sugary in here. Yep, yeah, it's Look. all sugar. You can get a whole pack. <laughs> Look at that. Eat all that by yourself. This is a cotton candy flavor. This one is pineapple flavor. And of course, like a cookies and cream. Rice crispy pie. Rice crispy pie? That's like so unique. This oh, that's what it was. I was like, oh, that yeah. kind of looks like, I don't know, oatmeal a little bit. And then I was like, wait a second. Yep. Yeah. Pineapple fudge. I tried it. But you had the dull, uh, what was that one? Dull ice cream or? The dull whip. Dull dip. Yeah. Again, remember? Oh, yes, okay. Anything you want. Okay. Well, the secret's out now. Whoever's watching this video. <laughs> this, oh, this is the Christmas store. Yeah. It's Christmas, 365 days a year. Goodness. Everything Christmas in there. Days of Christmas. Uh, there's the carousel that I was telling you about. Okay. And there's right a train there. over there as well. So, any perks do you get in any other resorts here on your birthday? Uh, usually if you're wearing a It's My Birthday button, you can get Disney magic all day. Ooh. Yeah, but okay. I mean, not, don't expect it, but people will sometimes go out of the way to make sure you have an extra fun time. Okay. Bar or yeah. popcorn or nice. Some people are lucky enough to get resort room upgrades. Really Whoa. Depends. It depends on the cast member. It really depends on the cast member and you know what their parameters are allowed to do. Okay. But good to know. Disney magic happens all the time. This will be a nice shot maybe to see like all the other all like spreading kicks you got. Yeah. Look at the this. area that we first came in, when we came in, we walked around here up to a world of Disney. Yeah. Also, that stitch right there and the two princesses that you saw on the other end when we walked around World of Disney are the only two things that are original about um, the building. Remember, I told you they remodeled it, oh, but goodness. they kept Stitch up there and Stitch will spit water at you when you walk by. <laughs> A little rascal. He is a little rascal. But it mm -hmm. feels good on a hot day. <laughs> <laughs> and if you be careful, if you're not careful, the T-Rex will eat you over there That's inside right. that dinosaur area. Slowly more and more is opening. You know, you'll see some of the food places that are still kind of closed up. Some will run at certain times, but others haven't reopened yet. Okay. But the more and more they're able to increase capacity, the more and more you'll see open. Yeah, Disneyland's opening. I know, after over a year, it's amazing, finally. Yeah, any plans to go out there? No, not for me. Not for I'm you. going on opening day. Oh, all right.
There's tickets available for that, but not for over here. No, there's tickets available here. It's just like, um, it's actually going to be a lot harder to get a ticket for Disneyland than it would be for Disney World. Oh, Disney wow. Disneyland is opening at a 15% capacity. Mm. And we are at a 40% capacity here. Okay. It's just, um, right now it's so busy here because of spring break. Mm -hmm. that, um, it's taken up the full capacity that they're allowing. All right. You know, on a, on a regular day before COVID-19, they would pack the house, you know. I see, yep. I think Magic Kingdom alone holds 100,000 people. Yeah, oh, that's goodness. Capacity. That's max capacity. So usually they'll hit that on like Christmas, Fourth of July, Christmas, New Year. Labor New Day. Year's. They'll hit it on the, not usually Labor Day. Really? But, um, oh, they call that area the west side and the landing. Okay. Oh, okay. Over west there. side of the landing. And then the right. shopping area over here, the third party area, is called Town Center. Okay. Good to know. Well, there's one more small area that we haven't walked through. Okay. So there's the last area we're going to visit and then get some food. Exactly. All right. And alcohol. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, what happened to the oh, Lego store? <laughs> what happened? Oh, like if they have a new release, you can always tell because the line is like forever long. Oh, goodness. There, Lego's a huge thing. People like... Uh, oh, yeah. There's huge collectors. You can get one I of those people Lego... People stand out here at 7 o'clock in the morning waiting because they're, you know, something's releasing. Say you want that sea dragon in the water. Yeah. <laughs> Plenty of restrooms around here too. Yes. Unlike New York City. Yeah, you would be surprised. New York City, it's like, there's all these stores, but the stores oh, won't let you use the restrooms. Yeah, that was like the biggest obstacle for us when we go there for vacation. So I just go in somewhere and buy something so I can use the bathroom. I know. It's so bad. Meanwhile in Florida, I've pretty much been able to go anywhere. Yes. Even CVS and 7-Eleven. It's really unfortunate that they do that because that's why people use the bathroom in like public places. Yeah. Uh, that aren't bathrooms. <laughs> Oh yeah, this section we didn't see. Yeah. Lululemon, Nahoku. Uh, Sprinkles Cupcakes up here has a cupcake ATM machine. Whoa. Yep, you just cupcake your, ATM. You just put your money in there, pick what cupcake you want, and the cupcake comes out of the ATM. Wow. Pretty amazing. Oh, there's a jewelry store. Yes. Yep, Hawaiian. We have a lot of jewelry Hawaiian. stores down there. A lot of unique shops. Pandora store. Alex and Ani. Um, this way, that, that big building right there on the left, that's Disney's guest relations. So okay. like, if you have anything that you need to inquire about with your tickets or anything, you can go in there and they can help you. There's also a Blaze Pizza down there. And a uh, deluxe burger. Deluxe burger. Deluxe burger. Really good. Hmm. My son loves the shakes there. <laughs> <laughs> good burgers, really good fries. And they freshly like, made. Yeah. I didn't like their burger. Oh, Which one did really? you get? What? Uh-uh. Probably I, just the bacon yeah. cheeseburger. We liked it a lot. Uh-uh. I thought it was so dry. Oh, maybe you just had a bad one. Maybe I did. I'll try it again. But the day I went, I was not happy, and I haven't been back since. Oh, we love it. Okay. I'll have to try it again, because I know you're definitely a burger snob. Wow, another section of Disney Springs. This place right here, this Morimoto Asia, mm -hmm. such a popular place. Um, 
a lot of people come here to, to dine there and they have like these special events where you spend like a couple hundred dollars and come in for a where the actual chef is there oh. the guy that um, owns the place my gosh yeah Woo. and by the way i like this lagoon too in Isn't the back pretty? it's pretty floating lanterns on it yeah, yeah. So we already walked all back in there. That's the places yep, the that are on the water. I saw. This is the Irish pub that's going to be slammed this weekend because that place gets so packed for St. Patrick's Day. They always have inter live entertainment inside and outside at that place. Hmm. And they have um, Irish step dancers, dancers that perform in there. Hmm. There. You can okay. sit inside or there's patio seating right there along the lagoon. And this place right here on the left is Robin and I's absolute favorite place to eat at Disney Springs. Homecoming. It's Homecoming. It's owned by Chef Art Smith, who was the personal chef to Oprah Winfrey. And uh, it's very southern comfort food. It's not a diet. Not if you're on a diet. You don't want to eat nope. here if you're on a diet. Because nope. it's like <laughs> all the southern, southern home, all the butter, food. all the butter, all the butter. <laughs> so welcome home, y'all. It's called Homecoming. All and right. it's only been here for a couple of years. Gracious. And there's Planet Hollywood again. Yeah, and now we're kind of like, you know, forking off into that same area where we were a little bit earlier. Mm -hmm. There's the plain pizza I was telling you about. My kids love that place. Oh my I'm really goodness. I'm not a big pizza person, but they love Blaze Pizza. You can go in there and they they make your personal pizza just the way you want it. You can put whatever you want on it. And they put it on there fresh right in front of you. And it's cooked in a high heat. Like brick oven. Brick oven. Yeah. Oh wow. It's good. I'll eat it. But I never say, you know what? I just want to go to Blaze tonight. But my kids are like, we want to go to Blaze, and your family does too, right? Yeah, every once in a while. <laughs> so from all the things that we showed you so far, what did you find the most interesting, or is there something that you would like to explore more? Hmm. You know, I really like the dinosaur place. That's so cool. Yeah, right? that was so cool. And plus, you never saw it either. I Would you like I to eat there? No. Oh, okay. I want to go to Homecoming. Okay. okay well, yeah, yeah. well, did you want to go for here for lunch or dinner? We can do whatever you want to do. No. Oh, well. Probably be easier whatever. to get in for lunch than dinner. Yeah. Yeah. Friday yeah. Night. Okay. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. Out in the parks for dinner. This okay. Place gets a lot Okay, so yeah. lunch then we'll get it. It will be packed. Yep. And the hot air balloon was cool too to see. That is so cool. Yeah. But the whole place is just I know, beautiful. It the is. landscaping here is very nice. Um, it's great. Lots of unique shops. And every single restaurant down here has like a very unique theming and fun atmosphere. We just didn't explore inside of all of them, but you could see how cool the boathouse is. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, dining in a boat. Um, just always so fun. And then the Coke place over here, up top there, they have food and drinks and a beautiful view of everything. Yep. Planet Hollywood, it's like any Planet Hollywood all around the world, if you've ever visited any of them. Mm -hmm. um, they play music videos on these big, huge screens. I mean, I could take you in there too if you wanted to see what that looks like. Super nah. Cool. I think we're good. Okay, okay. We should end the video here by the fountain. Okay. It'll be a nice background. Do not enter the fountain. And I don't even see anybody throwing coins in here. I know, I know that's a uh, thing. People throw coins in the fountain, but not here. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, folks, we're going to end the video here of Disney Springs. Let's give a very good thank you to the crazy Disney lady and Robin for showing me around Disney Springs because I really wanted to meet up with them and it was been very fun today. But yeah, check out their YouTube channel. 
and I'll see you next time. Smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Bye-bye.